Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 QPR2 Beta 2 and I have it here on my Pixel 9 Pro XL. So let me show you what's new. Before starting, if you like any of the wallpapers I use, you can find them in the Wallpapers by In-Depth Thick Reviews app. That you'll find its Google Play Store download link in the description below. And now let's take a look at the new features. Starting with the build number and size, if you are updating from QPR1 Beta 3.1, the update size is massive. And I tried to sideload this image on the PC, but it failed and I had to do it through the system settings. And the build number is PP11.241121.010. And now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the home screen. And the first thing that caught my attention is the darker themed icons. They are almost black. And when you compare this to the stable version, you will see here a massive difference between the two. And here is how they look side by side in dark theme. And when you go to the wallpaper and the style app, you will notice that the themed icons are no longer showing the beta flag like before. The second change is in the system wide search animation. If you don't have the keyboard option activated, you will notice that the search bar at the top animates when you swipe up, which wasn't the case before. And here is a side by side comparison. Now let's talk about the new changes under quick settings. And the first one is under modes. Now you will see the flip to shush option available by default, which wasn't the case before in my previous video about beta one. Not only this, but when you go to settings, you will see a couple of new changes. Number one, the game dashboard icon is now different. And there is one more preset called Google. And when you go inside, you will see it has something called app settings managed by Google. And when you tap on it, it doesn't allow you to do anything, but you still can turn off the switch if you want to. Then we have the all notification option available, but if you have it off, it will automatically set your calls to repeat callers and the apps will be set to Google Play services and digital well-being. When it comes to alarms and other interruptions, you have the alarms and media sounds. And finally, the display settings looks like this. The second change I noticed is the bigger home controls tiles. So when you compare this to QPR1 Beta 3.1, you will see a big difference between the two. In the Bluetooth tile, the fast pair devices you have connected to your phone will now show the icon of the device. And instead of showing a generic icon like this one, so for example, your Pixel Watch will have a real Pixel Watch as an icon, same as my Pixel Buds Pro. The Task Manager font color is now muted and instead of using a white color like before, and here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the previous version. And if you have any of the do not disturb modes activated without any notifications and then tap on the text, it will no longer take you to the notifications history like before, but it will take you to the relevant mode page. And here's a side by side comparison. I have do not disturb. And when I tap on the text, it still takes me to the notifications history. I also found that the pop-up notifications animation is now slower than before. And here is a quick example, as you see, it slides from the top slowly and then goes away slower than QPR1. Now let's talk about the new changes under settings. And the first one is in the notifications. And when you scroll down a bit, you will see that the notification cooldown feature is now available and you can activate it. And the only version that had this feature before this one was Android 16 developer preview one. And when you go to the Bluetooth settings page and then tap the gear icon of any device, now you will see the edit button next to the device name in case you want to give it a different name. But previously the same button was located at the top right corner. Under display and touch, I noticed some new changes. The first one is the removal of the adaptive timeout feature that I still have on my Pixel 9 Pro Fold running the stable version. Under the screensaver settings, you will see some new toggles added to the bottom, but unfortunately they don't do anything just yet. When you select anything like a clock, for example, you will see something called show home controls, but unfortunately I cannot turn on or off. But when I choose colors, it will give me another toggle called show additional information, display things like the time, weather, or other information on the screensaver. But even after activating the toggle, when I tap on preview, I don't see any extra information. And when I switch to home controls, this toggle disappears. And when I switch to Google Photos, 
the same so it only appears under colors and anything else has this show home controls toggle the last thing added under this menu is something called touch diagnostics and when you go inside and tap on any of these options it will give you the ability to test your touch hardware so when you tap on it it will turn off the screen to do your test and it takes like 10 or 20 seconds then it comes back recalibrating your touch and it will tell you that everything looks good and with this build the terminal app is finally working all you need to do is to search for the word terminal and activate this toggle then go to your apps and search for terminal tap on it it will ask you that it requires 550 megabytes download so when you tap on uninstall it will take its time so let me show you how it looks after the setup now the setup is done and here is how it looks now you can pinch to zoom to make things bigger you can tap on the screen to start using the keyboard and under settings you have three options disk resize port forwarding and recovery and the last change under settings is the updated Wi-Fi QR code. So when you go to your Wi-Fi network and then tap on share, you will see the same updated QR code design of Android 16. Now let's talk about the bug fixes and there are some important issues fixed. The first one is fixed an issue that prevented the angel preferences option from being accessed in developer options, fixed an issue that prevented some glucose sensor devices from connecting, Fixed issues that caused a long delay while selecting options to place a call. Fixed an issue that prevented the limit to 80% option in a charging optimization settings from being enabled. Fixed null pointer issues that could cause devices to unexpectedly crash or restart. And finally fixed an issue that sometimes caused pixel fold devices to stop responding while unfolded. Then we have four fixes related to the Bluetooth. So I'm going to leave this page link in the description if you want to check them yourself. Now let's talk about the performance and so far nothing changed when compared to QPR1 Beta 3.1. Both builds are very stable and I didn't have any major issues with any of them. All my apps work absolutely fine including my banking apps the scrolling, the animation, the performance, everything is quite good. And if you are curious about the Geekbench score, I got 4,596 for the multi-core score and 1,926. The only similar score I got was back in August 23rd. It's a very close to the one I'm getting now and slightly higher than the numbers I got in between. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features in QPR1 Beta 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.